I'm Emma. I'm Evie. And I'm Adam. With all the excitement building for season 35, the Tar Pit crew would like to bring you a series of exclusive interviews to meet some of the teams before the season premiere on September 27th. Here's the father-daughter duo, Steve and Anna Lee from Texas. My name's Steve Cargill. I'm 54 years old. I live in Petty, Texas, which is kind of a, a suburb of Dallas, Texas, but closer to Paris. I live in, out in the country on a piece of land and have a, just me and my wife and all of our animals. I don't get to the big city very often, but the show sure put me in a, a lot of big cities. And it's nice and quiet around here and slow-paced life. And the Amazing Race sure picked that pace up a whole lot. <laughs> it was you know probably the most rewarding the most it's the most awesome experience i've ever had and and being able to do it with my daughter was you know it was process a memory i'll have the rest of my life and cherish um my name's annalee wilson and i'm married and i have my two dogs they're two golden doodles they're both their names are mowgli and akila um, by trade, I'm a speech and language pathologist. I went to Baylor and that's where I got my master's degree. But since then I've transitioned and I've kind of consider myself, um, a multi-passionate entrepreneur because I'm a private flight attendant. I also own a business called bucket list retreats. I'm also a travel blogger. Um, I do some promo modeling, so I definitely, um, kind of dabble in everything, so to speak. And my husband is at home. He holds down the fort when I travel and he's an officer on the SWAT team. So we, it's just us right now. Cool. Annalie, I have seen your Instagram and I think it's really cool, all the places you've been to. And I was wondering, how did you get started being a social media travel influencer? Yeah, I, I, it was my dream for so, so long. And I always thought, you know, who am I to think that I can do this too? But I literally got on YouTube and I picked up a camera. I went and bought my first camera and I got on YouTube and learned how to use it. And then from there, I would go and go on little weekend trips and I would start to document it and just share it. And then from there, I gained a little bit more confidence and I just started pitching myself to brands and tourism boards and hotels, et cetera. And it's kind of taken off from there. That girl never stops. She's gone all the time. She loves Yeah, travel. I actually, I leave tomorrow morning for Greece, so. Her mom retired from American Airlines after 30 years, and I think flying from a young baby, you know, until an adult kind of gave her the bug, and she hasn't stopped yet. Definitely. Yeah, and my I've first flight was own. when I was five. I flew by myself for the first time when I was five. Wow. Yeah, that was to visit my grandparents who lived in Tennessee, and my mom would take me to the airport and drop me off, and I would go and fly and meet my grandparents. But yeah, I think she gave me the travel bug. (laughs) It's Evie. When did you guys decide to go on the amazing race and like be a team? Um, Also, how is it like having another parent child duo? So it was definitely my idea. (laughs) I, um, I've auditioned for the show twice before and never heard anything back, but I think it was because I was, busy trying to be somebody that I really wasn't. I was just trying to prove a point. I don't know what I was trying to be, but I think when I just went out there and realized that my dad and my dynamic was, we just had fun and we were funny and he always cracked me up. And I was like, well, why don't we just try to do it together? And he was not about it at first, but then he finally agreed. And of course we were goofy in our audition tape. And I think that's ultimately why we got on was because of him. I agree. I agree just because she bothered me about it. But Evie, she uh, she made a very good video and was able to edit it all together. And it really did look good. And I thought, well, there's a there's a small chance, like a one in a million chance. But, you know, watching the show and thinking just how small of a group gets picked to do it, I, I my confidence level wasn't real high until they started calling. And then, yeah, it kind of was nerve wracking after that, the rest of the process. And I'll definitely say that having another um parent son mother daughter duo like having other parent you know family teams on there it was really cool to see how their dynamic was because i know there was another mom and daughter and then um son and dad duo and it was just cool to see how they interacted we liked it it was it was cool this is emma how long have you guys been fans of the amazing race a long time 
35 seasons worth. Yeah, I feel like growing up, especially when we had, so we had land um, all my whole life. We've had land growing up and dad and I would do little challenges and he would always prank me and put me through fun little challenges, almost as if we were like racing or competing in something. And so I feel like my whole life I've been training for this race. (laughs) (laughs) That's too funny. Uh, outside of the amazing race, what are some of the your favorite TV shows or shows that you stream? Just so we get to know you guys a little more. One of my favorite TV shows is The Mole. I love The Mole, and I feel like I get so into it because I'm positive every single time I know exactly who it's going to be, and then every single episode I think it's someone else. So it it definitely keeps me on the edge of my seat. I love that show. Um, it's Evie. Annalise, oh. since you're a travel influencer, is there one place in the world that you haven't been able to go to yet that you really want to? Yes, New Zealand. That has been a place on my bucket list forever, cool. and I just haven't gotten there yet. So maybe next year will be my my year, but I have never been there. Nice. Well, I said I'd go there with. Where, New Zealand? Yeah, and that's where Phil's from, too. Uh huh. That's where Phil's from. Oh, I know. I kept right. asking Phil the whole time. I was like, "Can we go to New Zealand? Can we go to New Zealand?" <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. So, if you were to ask, back, speaking of Phil, if if you were asked back for an All Star season, would you guys do it again? Heck yeah! But I would put him through some boot camp. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna do any good. There's a certain age where your body just breaks down. Now they broke. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's going through boot camp, but yes, I would 100% go and I would drag him along with me. Nice. <laughs> I'm not going to boot camp. Yeah, you are. Or else I'm going to yell at you again. <laughs> <laughs> um, It's Evie. Will you guys come back on the show to talk about um, season 35 more since you didn't really get to say anything oh, after your last course. episode yes. airs? I would this love to. Awesome. We had such a great, I think the whole cast was great. Really, all 13 teams, we all got along so well. And I, I, I think we'll probably all be lifelong friends after, after the show. Yeah, I can. I enjoyed everybody. I still talk to a few of the cast members every single day. And we have an ongoing group message that we all message in. And like I said, I feel like they're my second family now. And I trust them and I rely on them. And it's just cool to kind of see the aftermath of going through an experience like that and now into real life, how people are. And I just think it was a really good cast. Everybody truly was like who, who they were, you know, on the show and I respect everybody and I love everybody. So That's awesome. This is Emma. How can your fans keep up with you now? Like I know Annalie, you have your Instagram, but do you guys have any other social media or any other projects that you want people to know about? Shoot, I tried well, to teach them Instagram. Are, and I, I'm not very good at that, but all my fans follow me on my wife's Facebook page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have any social media. <laughs> he probably has his uh, chicken account. You can keep up with him. <laughs> Whatever say, chickens are doing. There's a dirt yeah. road. If you, come, if you come down the dirt road and look over the fence, you'll probably see what I'm up to. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. And that's exactly why I needed him so badly to go on the amazing race because he needed to get more worldly. He was, he was old Texas boy, just on his farm. And I thought it was about time for him to see the world and he saw it. Well, that makes for good TV. I saw it. I saw it. Well, Steve, you're going to have to get used to it though. After the show airs, you're going to have a certain level of fame. Yeah, (laughs) You heard. Uh, We're we're having a launch party whatever it is what it is i'll just take it take whatever comes i'd just rather not take my picture but <laughs> oh my god it was a blast that's too funny well thanks you guys i really thank appreciate you. it thank you thank y'all so much for having us on y'all are doing great with this and i can't wait to keep yeah, up yeah. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much that was Make really sure great you. it's nice to see a parent uh, a, par- a father-daughter team on there too so it gives us a little, we always talk about that like well, could we do it together i'm not yeah. sure yeah. should we you might kill each other you but might you want to watch it. the show first yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take some tips <laughs> yeah i um i'm thinking will i stay alive two minutes <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah it's, it's tough especially when you go from not living with someone for 10 years mm-hmm. and being on your own and then moving back in with them and being with them 24 7 i mean we couldn't be five feet apart and so that was really, really challenging. 
for me because I I'm so independent and I know he is too. So it was like a level of we had to we had to get used to living together again. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so funny, Steve. I just have one last question. To... What were some of the excuses yeah. you came up with when you told we couldn't tell people what you were doing? You know what? Really, out here, I didn't. I just kind of disappeared. My wife took over our company and kind of uh, kind of rolled the guys and kept them busy. And I just told them that I was going for an extended getaway and that I'd see them in a couple of weeks. But uh, that couple of weeks stretched out to a month. And you know what's so funny with with me and my account? I usually post on Instagram every single day. And right. my husband actually had to take over and pull um, Instagram husband status. And it wasn't very pretty, <laughs> but he, he did the best he could. But I had a lot of messages from people asking, are you okay? Like, where are you? I was like, I just fell off the face of the earth. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Well, thanks guys. Have a great uh, afternoon Thank or you. great evening. We really appreciate Y'all it. And well. we hope to hear from you soon. Of yeah. course. Bye. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye. Bye. Well, Evie, that was really nice to talk to Steve and Anna Lee. They're the only father-daughter team this season on the race, which is very special for us. What did you enjoy about the episode? Um, Anna Lee says that she has golden doodles, and we have a golden doodle, so I liked that. And one of the brothers from the brother team that we talked to, John and Greg, they wanted to go to New Zealand, and Anna Lee also wanted to go to New Zealand. Oh, I wonder if Phil ever talks about New Zealand while they're on the race. He's originally from there. Yeah. Do you think he talks about that behind the scenes? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's one of their biggest sellers for the the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.